Well, you guys, here it is. This book has been about seven and a half months in the making. I got my sketchbook project, a uh, blank sketchbook for Christmas, and I've been working on it ever since. Um, as you can tell, it is just a plain, like, pretty, like, chintzy paper made of cardstock. It's nothing special, just a little sketchbook they send you, um, but they do digitize it. It's from the Brooklyn Art Library. Um, and it's a traveling sketchbook project. So you fill it up, you send it back, and it travels around and people can check out your book. It's also digitized, so they'll scan in all the pages once they receive it, and it will be available to look at on the website. Um, it does take several weeks after they receive it to scan it and everything, so it won't be available for a little while, but um, mine is actually due on the 31st of August, and today is the 18th, so I have only a couple of days to finish this and send it in. I just finished it last night, so. I'm really excited about it. I actually love this. I don't want to let it go. I'm like really attached to it. It turned out so cool. I'm I'm proud of uh I'm proud of pretty much every page in here. There's a couple of them that I like better than others, but for the most part, I'm really proud of how it turned out. So as you can tell, the cover's pretty simple. <laughs> Not your book of shadows. It's mine. <laughs> um all right, so here's my first page. Uh, oh, by the way, this was done in acrylic paint marker. This page is black paper with colored pencil. So, and I believe I use my Prismacolors for this page. So it's Prismacolors. This one was the regular sketchbook paper. I actually drew on it with my colored pencils and then I cut out um, and glued it down over the black paper that was behind it. Since I used the black paper for this page, I just glued the black paper and then cut out the white paper behind it. Um, another black page I glued in and did some colored pencil drawing over it. Um, obviously a little like enchanted forest at night scene. And just some hanging uh, herbs and witchy stuff, crystals, potion bottles, some flowers. Um, this is another uh, page that I glued in. Um, I used like a heavy duty watercolor paper. Obviously this is watercolors. <laughs> so some, some cool mushrooms. Um, I did a little study of. I don't like to eat mushrooms, but I do like to paint them. And they're pretty cool to look at. This is another watercolor I did. Um, I did glue in a lot of pages from other paper. Most of the pages actually I glued in from other paper, but I did plan them for specifically this book um, just because the paper is not very sturdy and it wouldn't hold up to a lot of the art materials that I used in it. But this is watercolor and like a uh, fine liner pen. Same for this one, another watercolor fine liner pic picture. Um, I did use a little bit of gel pen on this one, as you can see, like, I don't know if you can tell, it's got some glitter in it. <laughs> it's a cute little hocus pocusy saying. Um, I like this design a lot, the little cat posing like a moon. <laughs> I just thought it was cute. Some spell jars. Um, I did some research on you know, different components that you would find in a spell jar, making little spell jar kits, and then, um, you know, did a little sketch of what, what they look like, sort of. This is also watercolor with fine liner. This is color pencil and fine liner, the lunar phases, just making some notes, you know, during the phases, what, you know, um, steps you want to take or what kinds of things are most helpful or useful. Just notes on those kinds of things. Um, this is a little guide on making moon water, how to make it, what you use it for, watercolor again, and fine liner. Sorry, somebody drove by on the street. <laughs> this one, I actually got uh, some cool dual tip alcohol, alcohol markers and I wanted to try them out, so I did a little sketch. Um, looks like a, kind of like an enchanted forest in the daytime. With some little fairy uh, houses and like, you know, a little fairy village sort of thing with a stream. You know, it's not my favorite drawing, but 
it was kind of a fun fun sketch to do just just for my head with no reference or anything I don't often do that I usually use references for a lot of things that I draw but I did not use a reference for this this one turned out really cool too this is actually gouache paint it's gouache on a watercolor paper also with a little bit of um, like gold gel pen for the details for the line details here but it's luna moth and then the elements you know the pentacle in the background um this was sort of a just catch-all page um i had a bunch of stuff left over from a uh piece that I did for a friend of mine and um so I cut out some of the parts of it and, and glued them all together on here some of the sketches that I did and um so put some stickers on it it just kind of looked like a cool little collage this is a gouache painting of my cat <laughs> his name is blue and I painted him blue this is another color pencil drawing on black paper and as you can tell, she's kind of like blowing the smoke out into the air. It's turning into the night sky. And then it's got these, uh, the zodiac constellations, like all up into the sky. Some cannabis plants behind her. This is my evil eye page. Just a ton of different examples of how you can depict the evil, evil eye. There's tons of them. I mean, like, there's literally countless ways um but evil eye protection this is all done with alcohol markers i'm sorry this is all done with acrylic paint markers this page is really fun so i had a some red card stock that i used um this was on a black piece of paper that i drew with acrylic paint markers it was a reference that i a photograph that i took of myself holding this glowing ball um we were on vacation last week and there was these little glow things for the kids to play with and I just thought it was really cool. So I picked it up, took some pictures, and it turned out pretty cool for a reference. So I used it for that. I've got, uh, and then I kind of made it look like a brick wall with a door. I had these like weird church window things. Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I've had these for years. I had them for a painting I did like 20 years ago and or more. And I um, still had, had them left over. So I just kind of cut, cut out this paper and glued them in there so it looked like a little door opens this is another drawing that I did on black paper with uh, acrylic paint markers and then here's my last page this is a self-portrait of me with my third eye and my coffee my witch's brew and um, this was also alcohol markers the dual tip alcohol markers that I got um, I really, really, really love this self-portrait. I think it turned out so cool. It's one of my favorite portraits, self-portraits I ever did. Um, I did add some gold details again with my gel pen, but, um, mostly it's alcohol markers and a fine liner. And then this is also acrylic paint marker. This is my new signature. I decided I'm going to start signing my artwork with a signature. Actually, I really like it. I think it's really cool. <laughs> and then my social, my... My artist contact info, obviously. And now I get to mail it back in and get it digitized. And hopefully um, people will get a chance to look at it. Like I said, I'm I'm really nervous. I don't want to send it in. I, I don't want to lose it. But at the same time, I want to have other people be able to check it out. And it'll be available to more people that way. So let me know what you guys think. And um, hopefully you should check out the... Uh, the traveling um, sketchbook project go to the brooklynartlibrary.com you can look at tons and tons and tons of people's sketchbooks i don't even know i think this is like this the 18th version or something in there i don't know how many there are out there but there are a lot of different ones so um they have prompts and stuff like that that they'll send to you i didn't actually use one of the prompts i just uh came with this little pamphlet but here's all the prompts that it you know came with it's sort of it's sort of a back pocket guide sort of a thought box i mean i don't know lots of different things it could go could but you don't have to use one of the references you can do whatever you want obviously i did so thanks for watching